Hi everyone, and welcome to my next video tutorial, which is going to be focused on adding Bootstrap 5 to our Django applications. Now, the prerequisite for this video is you must just have a simple application, namely an application that takes in a particular input field. So in this case here, I have a simple application that allows me to register my users and to authenticate them. And as you can see here, I have a username, email, password um, field here. Now, what I want us to do is to learn how we can add Bootstrap 5 just to style this up and make it look a bit cleaner. Now, I have made a video before which focuses on adding in Bootstrap 4. Now, what I want to do in this video is to show you how you can add in Bootstrap 5 so it is a extra step or two but let's go ahead and get started with that so of course make sure you have your simple application up and running all right so the first thing that we want to do is install these two packages so django crispy forms we're going to use the latest um, package in this case and also crispy bootstrap 5 as well to allow us to utilize um, bootstrap 5. all right so what we want to do is we just want to stop our uh, ser server and let's install these packages. So Django Crispy Forms, the latest version, we can install that. Now, when I showed you how to utilize Bootstrap 4, we had to unfortunately downgrade, but in this case, we're going to be using the latest version. So we have that installed. Now, Crispy Bootstrap 5. So we can copy that and go ahead and install that package also within our virtual environment. There we go, that's been installed. So we have those packages set. Now we need to set them up. So what you can do is under Crispy Bootstrap 5 here, you can scroll down and you can see the usage. So of course, as they tell us, we also need Crispy Forms, which is something that we've installed. And you just want to add the following um, packages to your list of installed apps. So Crispy Forms and Crispy Bootstrap 5. So I'm just gonna copy that. Then we can head on over to settings.py of our application. And here under installed apps, you just wanna paste in those two packages. So under the installed app, so Crispy Forms and Crispy Bootstrap 5. So you want to make sure you, you add both of them to your list. Next, you want to specify the allowed tempa, template packs. Now before, when we used Bootstrap 4, all we needed was this line here. But with Bootstrap 5, you're going to have to copy both of these options here. I'll explain it in just a moment. And I'm just going to add this right here. So basically, crispy allow template uh, packs here is we are specifying which template uh, packs we can utilize, whether we want to utilize Bootstrap 3, 4, or 5. Now, in this case, we want to use Bootstrap 5. And here on the crispy template pack, we want to explicitly specify what we're going to be using. And we're going to say Bootstrap 5. Okay, so make sure you've added that to your application. So in settings.py, make sure you add in the following packages to installed apps. And then, of course, you want to explicitly state what um, version of Bootstrap you want to utilize. Okay. Next, you can head on over to the HTML page or the template that you want to utilize. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to load in this crispy um, uh, template pack here, which specifies Bootstrap 5. So what you can do is you can head on over to the page that you want to utilize this on and right at the top, so I have my HTML template here. You just want to go ahead and add in the following, which is you could say a um, filter tag. So you want to say load crispy underscore forms underscore tags. And you just want to add in that percentage symbol and close off that tag accordingly. Now, if I were to scroll down here, you can see I have register as underscore p. Now all this does is it gives us some basic formatting. This is of course encoded with Django. Now if you want to now implement crispy forms to change how we see these input fields here, what you're going to have to do is remove this. And now that we are loading in crispy forms tags, you just want to add in the following symbol and say crispy. Like so. All right, so make sure you've got that. Now what you want to do is you just want to restart your server. So Python manage.pyron server. There we go. And you can now refresh your page. And now you can see there is a slight difference here. So there is a bit of an adjustment, but we're not finished just yet. So now that we have um, Bootstrap 5 integrated and all set and ready to go, the next thing that we need to do is we need to add in a Bootstrap seam just to give this a little bit of styling. So what we want to do is you can go to this website called bootswatch.com. I've covered this quite often in a lot of my videos. And all you want to do is look for a scene that you want to utilize if you want uh, something very quick. 
So I'm just going to look for something I like. I'm going to choose Morph here. Then here by download, I'm going to click on this um, drop down menu. And here I see bootstrap min.css. So I want to use the minified bootstrap CSS. Right click, open that link in a new tab. Okay, just give it a moment. So sometimes it just takes a moment to load up. So what I'm going to do in the meantime, I'm going to show you the logic that you need until this opens up. So here by the register.html page where I'm loading in my crispy forms tags and where I am just going ahead and applying that filter, you just want to make sure that you have a CSS line right here. So as I can as you can see here if I zoom in, let's close that. We can see here that I have link rel equals style sheet. And then the type is text CSS and I have my href attribute here set and I just need to add in my value. So make sure you add in this line here to the page that you are utilizing or that you want to use crispy forms as you can see right here, which is going to have bootstrap five set. So make sure that you add this line right here in between your head tags, that would be the best option. And right here in href is what you want to, where you want to go and add in the minified bootstrap CSS to style your page. So make sure you've added in the following line accordingly here. Right. So now let's head on back and I can see this is now loaded. So here I have my bootstrap.min uh, CSS here and we can see all of the code is right here. So all you literally need to do is copy that URL and here by the href you can paste that in like so. And now if we head on back to our application and refresh, we can now see that we have a change right here in place. Now, of course, there are some things that you need to add into place and set, but as you can see here, we have the crispy form input field showing here. Now, let me show you if I remove the field so you can understand how this bootstrap five is being applied. If I remove crispy here and say dot as underscore P, with this styling here and I refresh, you can see here that we do not have Bootstrap 5 applied, especially to our input fields. So you can see all of that is gone. That's why we needed to go ahead and set this up together with Crispy Bootstrap and Crispy Forms together to add in that nice layer of input fields and add it into place. So that is how you would need to go ahead and do that. You would need to add in your Crispy filter accordingly just to add in that style. Now, of course, this is an example of one of the boot swatch themes you can apply to this. Of course, you can change this up. So if I were to look for something different, we can, of course, just go ahead and experiment here. So for example, we also have, let's say Lux. Let's look at that. Copy that. And you just want to change that boot swatch theme. Okay, and we can head on back. Okay, just going to take a moment to adjust that accordingly and then we can go ahead and see the changes and there we go. We can see that change has been modified and set into place. Now, of course, we can see that this is maximized. So what you're going to have to do is you're just going to have to ensure that you just shrink this just a little bit. So you can use some CSS just to adjust this. So what I can do is I can just show you a um, very quick way of doing this. So you can just narrow this into view just a little bit because it's maximized on the screen and looks pretty ugly out of this moment. So let's uh, clear that up. Right. So the first thing we need to do is decide what we want to encapsulate together. So I'm going to start from register now. So the H1 tag and this form here is all of the fields that I have. So what I'm going to do is literally just create a container. So I'm going to say div class equals container. Like so, and let me zoom out here. And I'm just going to nest all of my logic here in a container. Okay, there we go. And the next thing I want us to do is just go ahead and refresh. There we go. So now we can see it's at least centered and a little bit clearer here. And the next thing you can do is just go ahead and up top, just add in some breakpoints here, as you can see. And we'll add that at the top and the bottom of our container. Okay, so there we have it. So we have some space now, it's still a little bit too wide. So what you can do is you can just shrink the width a little bit so we can use some inline CSS. Now, usually I would advise you to use rather external CSS um, just for best practices, but I don't wanna go into detail with that here. So what I want us to do now is I want us to go ahead and set the style. So you can just simply say your style equals and I'm just going to set the width here and I'm going to set that to 500 pixels just like that so some inline CSS 
And now if I refresh, we can now see it is centered and a little bit more cleaner. All right, guys, so that is how you can go ahead and add in Bootstrap 5. And of course, we did reiterate some of the things I've been through before with Bootswatch seams. But that is how you can use the latest um, Bootstrap. Well, not the latest, but one of the newer versions of Bootstrap instead of Bootstrap 4. So you have a newer option and you don't have to downgrade because like before I mentioned, we did have a video where we were focusing on crispy forms, but of course we needed to downgrade to head on over to Bootstrap 4. But here we go, Bootstrap to Bootstrap 5 for our forms. All right, guys, so that's it for this video. That's how you can go ahead and integrate that nicely into your Django application along with a few other things along the way. So as always, guys, thank you for the support and I'll see you next time. Thank you again.